Hey guys, I'm your host Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's time for another Black Series unboxing. This time it is Django Fett. He's number 15 in the Black Series range. I'm going to open him up and we'll have a look at him. So here we go. Django Fett. In the final years of the Republic, Django Fett was regarded, regarded as the best bounty hunter in the galaxy. Fett is covered in a sleek armoured suit that conceals his scarred face. Has he got scarred face? I don't remember that in the prequels. Disney, are you changing canon? Actually, I wouldn't be mad if Disney went back and changed some of the prequels. I wouldn't be mad. It would be cool to keep some of it, but I think a lot, they could do a lot better with the current set. Okay guys, so let's we're getting Django Fett out now. I am a huge fan of the Mandalorian Fets. I love the bounty hunters, I think they're really cool. Okay, okay that's all the bits. So here we go. So Django Fett, he has come with a blaster already in his hand, which is removable. Yes, it is removable. And um, I'll leave that in. Um, so there's his blaster. Oh, and he does have a side pocket. Right, I'm liking this figure already. Okay, sorry, getting ahead of myself. Like this figure a lot already. This one is great. And the arms rotate at a proper angle. Um, so you can hold his arm out straight. And his arm actually rotates, which is a nice little effect. I like that a lot. Um, he's, both hands have gun triggers, so he can dual wield, he has two pistols, um, and the other arm, you can rotate it, but it does come up at a weird angle, like that. You see what I mean? There you go, look. It's a bit more of an angled ball joint on the arm on that one. Um, and he, his legs do move out, like the others, and he does have oh, a knee joint, that was very stiff, he does have a knee joint, oh Christ. <laughs> and his feet do fully rotate like the thin one as well. I'm not going to mess with that too much because I like the setup this one already has. He's a very firm figure on this one. Um, and the head sculpt is really nice. It actually looks like the character. And the head actually moves up and down on this particular model. <clears throat> there he is. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to leave one pistol um, in the hand. However, one thing I remember I said about the Finn character that I revealed on the last video. Well, the guns actually have a holster in this particular one, so you can slot his guns in his pocket like so. That is a nice um, addition. I think more of the figures should, if they have holsters in the in the films, they should have a holster. And uh, I believe uh, you call me I'm wrong. You tell me I'm wrong if you want, but I'm pretty sure stormtroopers have them. Anyway. <laughs> His helmet does also come off and on, so you can pop it on and off, which I like, but I will be keeping it on. And of course he has his backpack, which just slots onto the back of the model, like so. I actually prefer this figure to the Maboba Fett Black Series. This is an awesome Mandalorian figure, and I like him a lot. So guys, are you excited about this particular figure? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit the subscribe button. All goes towards putting the show. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys, and I'll speak with you again soon. Bye-bye!